Hey everyone, welcome back to your Astro Week Who's Hot This Week horoscopes for <clears throat> the week of March 7th to March 13th, 2016. Presented by the SunnySide.net. Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. Oh, these are the horoscopes that I write for the. Hey, someone just shared my post. That was really sweet. Okay. Let's get back to work. <laughs> the horoscopes for the Echo Newspapers in good old Kamloops, BC. Presented by the SunnySide.net. Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. Alright, first things first. This video is not too quick. It's the weekly horoscopes. Uh, but if you'd like to skip the messages and head directly to your sign, then simply click on the link in the description box below. Next, gigs. Gabriel will be performing this week on Friday, March 11th at the Blue Martini with a very heavy jazz group. It should be good. And then on Saturday, he'll be back at 10 Tapas for his regular super romantic evening by the water in Vancouver. And as always, if you drop by, please say hi. There's a link in the description box below to Gabriel's website. And at the end of the video, I have one of those little box link things. But it's for some reason, it's can't link it to his website so it's linked directly to his YouTube channel where you'll find all of his videos and I'm sure if you listen to one or two of them you'll recognize the music from walking around town his music is everywhere next oh there's a poster right there or oh, right there <laughs> okay next Steve is a gig coming up as well it's March 26 at the 7 dining lounge in Vancouver and it should be pretty good again if you drop by please say hi and finally the super beautiful and always amazing violin virtuosa Jessica Tang will be leading the Ambleside Orchestra on April 1st. I'm not sure where quite yet, but I'll let you know when I find out. And that's about it. I hope everybody's having a fantastic week. And I'm having a pretty good week. And next, the overview for the week of March 7th to 13th, 2016. This week, the moon will be in. Dreamy. But I don't think they're that dreamy, really. <laughs> they just see things differently. Intuitive. Definitely intuitive. They uh, definitely psychic. Mm -hmm. A little step above intuitive. Uh, definitely spiritual. Likes to help the underdog. And okay, a little dreamy. <laughs> Pisces. This means we'll all want to lend a helping hand to others. Some might throw a party. Others will want to stand up for what they believe in and others will simply follow their dreams into a higher calling. I love the Pisces energy, right? Double Scorpio, you know, I'm gonna love, I'm gonna just, <laughs> Pisces all the way. Oh man, Van Zandt, I'm in the middle of recording. <sighs> all right, come back, wait, five minutes. Oh, my students are showing up. The amazing Van Zandt is showing up. But let's get back to the horoscopes. I love the Pisces energy. It's changeable energy, so it's not that easy to say it's going to be this way or that way. Pisces energy likes things to be smooth in a kind of this is just the way things are supposed to be vibe. And if you don't like it, well, there's no need to push the argument. They'll just swim away. Hmm. So if you're a sign that likes to fight, the energy will definitely give it, will definitely give it to you uh, if they have no other option. But if they do have another option, then they'll just swim away. I'm just saying. Anyways, you're warned. Good luck, everyone. Okay, next, fan mail. Anwar himself writes in on my romantic magic videos, and this is a nice one. There's a few things I want to say. First, <laughs> first, blah, 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 you have a great voice. It's relaxing. Okay. Now, then he says, I love hope and hope you sit. I love hope and you say, and I wonder, which is, I know, that's one of, that's my writing style. And it, it works. It works over there. Anyways, and most importantly, here's the action. I lost my... What the... <laughs> I lost my mother last week on the 19th, and I came to YouTube in search of anything that help, would help me get through it. My mom and I left on somewhat bad terms, and it's been eating me up. Thanks to this video, I've been able to let go of everything bad and every bad memory and never think about it again. Needless to say, her funeral yesterday was so much easier for me not having those feelings of regret. Thank you so much. You've literally changed my life. I've subscribed and look forward to your next video. I've re recommended this to quite a few friends who are also in need. Thank you again. 
Thanks, Anwar. That's what it's all about. I super appreciate it. And for everyone else who's interested in what we're talking about, there'll be a link at the end of the, the video. And sub. And for those who don't know, all the noise in the background, they're getting, they're preparing the studio here. They're putting artwork up all over it because um, Rohani's from across the hall. She's featured in the uh, Vancouver Art Walk this weekend. And it's... Um, and they're putting all the art up. And if you can, you know, we're at, uh, we're on 14, 122 14th Street, just above the dry cleaner and flower shops. If you've got nothing to do this weekend, come on by and check it out. Okay, next, joke of the week. What has 88 keys but can't open a single door? A piano. <laughs> okay, enough. Here are the scopes that I write for the Echo newspapers in Kamloops, B.C. for March 7th to 13th, 2016. Dear Aries, there's a lot of light shining on your past decisions as you take stock of what you've just been through and where you'd now like to go. You're an aggressive sign, but that's not going to help speed up the process. You need time to heal before jumping into anything new. Dear Torres, joint finances will require your attention. Check the fine print and talk to your partner before you sign. Love is at the office, but you'd really like to get out with the gang and have some fun. Close friends lend a helpful ear. Dear Gemini, you're sparkling in the workplace this week, so work extra hard and rewards will arrive shortly. Love is filled with uncertainty, but you have a fresh energy which is encouraging you to get back into the dating scene. Follow up with a playful wink. Follow up a playful wink with a confident hello. Dear Cancer, thinking big picture in love could set you up, could set you on an exotic adventure. Expand your mind or at least try something new. Someone from a different culture grabs your attention. There's music going on in the background. What do you expect? I'm probably recording this later in the day. We're a music studio. Anyway, dear Leo, love is still calling for an adventure, but make it short. It's all ahead in business. Both team ventures and solo efforts bring rewards. Dear Virgo, problems at home have you ready to lay down some changes. A couple of months ago you started down a new path which hasn't yet delivered as promised. Follow your heart to a brighter day. Dear Libra, always, as always Libra, stick up for yourself. But you've entered a cycle where words can get you into trouble. Use your new skills when pressed with old problems. An aggressive stance wins hearts. Dear Scorpio, that boost of energy which had you going to the gym is now moving to your personal finances. Dig deep and keep those Scorpio eyes open for new ways to make money. Let the regained confidence flow into all areas of life. Dear Sagittarius, a burst of energy finds you just in time to tackle home chores. Fights with jealous types are now in the past and it's time to move forward with confidence and new goals. Work continues to be extremely lucky. Dear Capricorn, one more lucky week attracting money, then it's time to get back on the sales and promotion wagon. Keep your eyes open for jealous friends who lack your work ethic but admire your rewards. Disagreements at home can spin out of control quicker than you realize. Dear Aquarius, it's one more week in the love spotlight, then you'll be attracting money again. In the meantime, a love is presenting you with... What? <laughs> In the meantime, a light is presenting you with different opportunities to increase your income. Think long term. And finally, Darius Pisces, be careful while traveling. Even the shortest trips can be filled with delays and sudden accidents. A lot of energy is flowing through Pisces and it can have you both a little on edge and filled with quiet optimism. Love arrives in a week, Pisces. And I gotta get going. You can hear the kids getting restless. <laughs> okay. This week's Lucky in Love signs are do 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 Pisces and Virgo, with Aquarius and Leo heating up fast. As for everyone else, be a super amazing, fantastic wing and pick up the check. And if you're in North Vancouver this weekend, uh, March 4th to March. No, <laughs> March 5th and March 6th, then uh, drop by 122nd East 14th Street and. and uh, Come on up the stairs above the flower shop and dry cleaners and uh, have a look at all the art that's happening here. It's absolutely, it's going to be a wonderful weekend and then it should be a very dreamy and productive week. And that's it. I hope everyone has an absolutely fantastic week and I'll see you soon.
Hey everyone, this is Sunny. If you like the videos, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I've come a long way with your help and with your continued support, together we're going to be going a lot further. Posted, or in this, these images here, are links to the hypnosis style meditations that everyone's talking about. I'm super proud of them and I hope you like them as well. There's also a link to Gabriel's webpage where you can find all of this, all of his award-winning music and upcoming gigs. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, simply message me at sunny at the sunnyside.net or leave a request in the comment section below the videos. Thanks again for liking, sharing, and commenting on all of the work we've done here. We're all here together, and together it's a beautiful day. And that's it. Sending two big <laughs> sending two big arms full of love all the way around the world, and I'll see you soon.